I know we talked about observability in general and stuff. Right? I really want to get into, as I said before as well, we admire Robusta. Uh, I would really like to get some insights from your own uh, side itself as well. Like, What are some of the specific benefits uh, that you get by uh, using Robusta? Yeah, so the two areas that we really see the most customers getting the most benefit from is one, when they have multi-cluster environments. Some of the traditional tools are good if you have a, like one cluster or a small number of clusters. But then when you're really acting at scale, they just weren't built for that. So that's one niche. It's almost uh, it's like I can speak about different verticals or I can speak about like the horizontal capabilities, right? So now I'm speaking about a specific vertical for a specific type of customer. But that those multi-cluster environments are somewhere that's very painful with a lot of the traditional tools. And think about it, like you have three different Prometheus instances or 500 Prometheus instances, each one in a different cluster. Then you have to be able to pull together all that data into the right place. So that's hard to do things with traditional tools. So that's one area where we see a lot of value. And then the second is around the ability to really get you fast to the root cause and to get you to the why and to get you to the fix. Again, think back about that Uber service that goes down or Uber Eats is down and you want to just get back up and running and you're paged in the middle of the night, you're on call and you get a, like a page and you open up your phone, you glance at pager duty, you wanna see there is something that's actionable. You wanna see there, okay, why did this happen? Like, where are the logs? And you don't wanna have to now pull out your laptop and then jump to one system and then copy paste a pod name and then go into your logging system and paste that pod name in there and then look for the logs and then go and pull into Kubernetes events with kubectl get events. If you do all that, then now you're 30 minutes into the incident and only now you're starting to understand if you even should page someone else or how you should handle whether you need to escalate. So what we do and what we're really good at doing is making sure that when you get that other than pager duty or in Ops Genie or in Slack or whatever system you choose, because like we try and meet you wherever you are, we're not trying to change your behavior. But when you get that message there, that it has the context, that it's done that contextualization, and then you know what the next step is and it's really actionable. So that's like the horizontal benefit that we're trying to provide. And then that specific thing becomes like especially good if it's in a multi-cluster environment because they're the traditional tools are totally failing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so if I, if I sort of try to break it down, uh, that's essentially Robusta is acting uh, on your behalf, like the first uh, sort of, uh, uh, like the entity that's doing the first order of investigation and actually pinpointing the exact issue for you so that you don't have to sift through all that crazy logs and events that uh, these Kubernetes environments throw at you and just tell you what to do. That in my mind is something really, really valuable uh, that if you can contextualize and pinpoint. Um, so th thanks for that answer.